hello and welcome to episode 51 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. Now before we get into today's action, I do have a couple of announcements of sorts. First one, yes, we've hit the 6k subs barrier. Very exciting. Uh, and that means, as promised, I'm going to be doing a 6k sub celebratory live stream. It's been a while. It has been a while. And I can announce it is going to be coming up this Sunday. That's right, Sunday the 15th of April at 5pm GMT. And uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be Master League again, as voted on by the patrons. Uh, they decided they'd like to see a lovely little bit of Master League stream. Uh, it's not going to be quite as exciting as the last one, where we did the run-in live. That was pretty cool, it has to be said. Um, but today we've got Garner Tover and Gingomp. So those are going to be played, and then Friday's episode will be uh, PSG and Lorient. Which means in the live stream we've got a group stage match against Lazio. Probably by that point, that won't be so important. And then we just got a couple of games, Marseille and Toulouse. Nothing, nothing major, nothing particularly exciting. Um, but we can have a little chat together about transfers coming in. We can have just general lovely chat. So it'll be nice to see you all there. So make a date in your diary, 5pm this coming Sunday. And uh, we'll just have a lovely little time. It's going to be great. I haven't spoken to you guys live in a while. Hopefully my laptop doesn't break this time. Hopefully the internet doesn't go down. I'm sure at least one thing will go wrong, as is tradition. But hey, it's going to be fun, I'm sure. And I look forward to seeing you all there. So let's see if we can continue Goodwin's excellent goal-scoring form today in the Europa League. I believe if we win this one, or maybe even get a draw, then we are definitely through to the next round. And we've got a lot of downward form arrows. That's a shame. Not an important game, so we can definitely afford to do some squad rotation here. We can bring Big Sav in at left back for a change. That'd be interesting. Um, Olivier and Champ. We'll bring in Banassa there. Uh, we'll give Masunda a run out at right wing. A lot of people want to see him playing out wide. And while we're at it, I think we'll just um, we'll give Mitro a run out. So we'll play Caramo just to his left hand side. A much changed side here, but I still think we've got enough. 85 team spirit, still pretty high. Up against Garner Tover, we've got Jonathan Walters up front. I love his eyebrow he's got in that picture. Interesting choice. Um, but we should be able to get a win today. And then through to the knockout rounds. Fairly comfortably, I'd say. So here we are at the Garner Tover ground. Wow, they have invested a fair amount this side. Obviously, they've had a lot of investment from their imaginary, uh, imaginary owner in this imaginary town. In this imaginary country. And uh, these imaginary fans here have turned out in force. As you would to see their side get knocked out of the group by, surely, the best side in the Europa League at the moment. Or the best performing in their own league. We've got to be. We've been so great. Let's get into it and let's uh, let's get through to the knockout rounds nice and comfortably. So, first 18 minutes here and it's been all gone. It's over. Oh, this is poor. This is poor. Oh my god, how have they missed that? Well, that's about the third chance Garnet over have had in this first few minutes. Claremont looking very complacent. Possibly it's the long trip to Ghana Tova, you know, the thousands and thousands of miles that we've had to travel to get here. Maybe has had an effect, but Walter surely should have put that one in. And they've started much, much better. We need to uh, pull our finger out here. All down the line looking for Sahin. Asibiadi gets there, but he can't win it back. Kolomietz can put a ball in. Masunda does really well. It's great defensive work there from the youngster. And now he can stream forward using that pace. It's away from Kolomietz, who's just given up the running. And now he's going to push it all the way to the line. That's an interesting bit of defensing positioning there. Puts it up, looking for Karamo. The header comes in. First chance of the game there. Masunda won it back, won, ran the whole pitch. High ball. Walters will jump with Alcibiadi. Alcibiadi does well. Now Benassa accelerates through the centre. Finds Mitrovic. Ah, oh. Well, half-time here, and this has been easily... Our worst performance of the season. Worst 45 minutes. Shouldn't imagine there were any highlights at all there. We managed one shot. We kind of told had 60% possession. These minnows are playing like world beaters so far. But uh, yeah, I think we just need to um, just have a little word with ourselves in the changing room. We've only made 31 passes in this game so far. There's certainly more to come. We can't get any worse. And uh, I'm sure Green Diacra will be using that as the basis for her team talk. Maybe we need to make some changes, I don't know. But I, I still feel like we can win this one. There's Masunda. Steps away from Sahin. That's good work. Now Mitrovic. Back out to Masunda. Now into Alcibiades. He's got two to aim for. To the line now. Puts it up. Looking for Caramo. Oh! Come on. 
Armasunda, oh, great challenge. And then he's up straight away. He's got Mitrovic making a run. Didn't fancy it. Turns inside. Oh, he's inside again. And again, Masunda. Oh, just couldn't get past the final man. He had only one thing in his mind there. Walters steps away from Masunda neatly into Skamaka. Holgate gives him way too much space. Bernardoni forced to make the save. This has been awful. Absolutely, without exception, our worst game of all time. Sahin to put a ball in. They deserve a goal here. Holgate with the acrobatic clearance. Masunda tries to get to it and he's given away a free kick in the process. I think that's a bit unfair. He only had eyes for the ball there. So triple sub here. Kyalapu's going to get a run out. The man in great form. Cafu and Toure on for Doolin. I mean, I think we do only need the one point. But we don't want to make this go down to the game against Lazio. We really need to get through now. Ball comes in. Oh, Bernardoni. Good save. Cafu wins it back. Can we find something here late on? Koyalapu runs at the defence. First chance to see him in this one. Steps back inside. Goodwin Koyalapu hits it. Whoa. Wide. But finally a bit of attacking impetus from Claremont. Who have been lacklustre at best today. Oh, Benassa. So many interceptions from him today. He's going to chip it in. Looking for Mitrovic. The finish. Oh, come on. For crying out loud. Great work from Benassa to win it back. He's had a lot of interceptions today. He's got great intelligence at cutting off uh, the passes. He put it in. Surely had to get that on target, Mitro. Playing his way out of any sort of starting position. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We are through to the knockout rounds. All we needed was a point today. Disappointing to travel all the way to Garnatova and not get anything out of the game. But uh, we only needed a point. And I think Karin Diakra knew that. Sort of sat back in that second half. We knew that Garnatova probably didn't have it in them to score a goal against us. And uh, yeah, we're through to the knockout round. It's historic here. Historic achievement for a club the size of Claremont. We're going to be going up against Europe's very best. Nearly very best. Europe's second best. And uh, we'll, we'll try and put that performance out of our minds. I think on our day, we're a match for anyone in the world. Today, not. So we have it. It will be uh, Lazio and Claremont going through. Uh, we've got Lazio still to play. We probably won't bother playing that now. That means nothing except for maybe our seeding. But got to be pleased with that. Regardless of the results today, moving out of the uh, group stage is a big achievement. And now only three days later, well, having tasted what the top of the table felt like, um, we very quickly dropped back off again into third. Any mistakes at this point in PSG and uh, other sides of that are just going to run away with it. So home games against sides like Gingomp have to be wins. Let's take a look at the sides today. Mitrovic was awful. Didn't have many chances, to be fair, but when they did come, he missed them. Emre Moore is going to have to drop out. Koyalapu on a downward arrow. That's a tricky one. Berahino, I guess, can play because he's on an upward arrow. Everyone else will probably keep it as it is. Benassa was excellent, I have to say. Um, but we'll keep things as they are for now. I think we'll put Tisserand on the bench as an option. Bassetto as well. But we keep Team Spirit at 92. That's good to see. Oh, Geen Comp have been tricky, actually. I remember this side. Coco out on the wing. Powerful runner. Briand. Really difficult front three to play against, actually. So we need to be careful here. And not, not a weak back line as well. Yeah, we, we don't want to be underestimating this side. Even though we are at home. Let's get into it. So you wouldn't really expect a young, tenacious, exciting side like Claremont Foot to get complacent. But I think that's exactly what we saw in the last game. And I'm sure Karin Diakra will not stand for it. At home, back in the league, where every single game counts. Yeah, the game against uh, Garnatova was a bit of a dead rubber. We knew a draw would be enough and we played like that. Today, nothing less than three points will do. Let's go. Sibiadi, route one stuff here. Looks for Jan Karamo. Oh, forces the defender to make a decision. Oh, what a start. And Ber Berahino has handed a gift of a goal there. Early doors. And he wasn't going to miss that one. We know he's a good finisher. But this one was an absolute gift. I mean, that was maybe the game plan. Put an early ball in to test the defender. He could have just shepherded that out. He really should have done. But then the pass back across was indefensible. Inexcusable. That's day one of defending school. Do not pass it back across your own box. Especially without looking. And Berahino can't finish. Lovely start. Nice ball into Wellington then. Oh, oh, steps away from Diallo somehow. And now out to Cafu. 
He steps inside. Ball into Caramo. Digs it out. Shot comes in. Keeper does well to parry. Out to Olivier and Cham now. He'll hit this one from distance. Just wide. Great build up there from Claremont. And Cham away from one. Cuts back. Olivier and Cham. Can he get the shot away? <laughs> no. Just took his sweet time with that. But they can't clear. They're making some awful decisions today. Berahino into Caramo. He'll turn. He'll get the shot off. Low shot again. Keeper saves well again. Jan Caramo looking sharp today. Keeper again fought into an excellent save. Gingomp have looked awful. They've looked panicked in defence. Struggling to clear the ball. A ball inside to Nem would have been a tap-in. Lovely interplay here. Oh, Nem turns on a sixpence. Or a six cent piece or whatever it is in France. And now Duarte. He's got Cafu at the far post. Puts it up for him. <sighs> Couldn't get to it. Now Sibiadi, though, will have a go from distance. Petric, easy save. But yeah, great work again from Claremont. Looking good going forward. I'm looking pretty solid at the back as well, but I don't want to count my chickens. As, uh, as Gingon come forward now, as we know they've got some dangerous players. Benazé is one of them. If he can get to this, he can. Alcibiadi does well. Corey read that well. And looks to slip in Berahino. He's done very well to get to that. No, fuck's sake. Dangerous ball here, over the top. Benazé gets to it ahead of Alcibiadi. Turns back inside, floats it in, looking for Coco. And his overhead kick. Something Coco the Clown might have done. Well over. And uh, yeah, we uh, retain our one goal lead here. As the first half is nearly over. Nem read that like a book. Oh, he's going to get to it. Scoops out a ball into Berahino. Oh, first time hit from Saido Berahino looking for his second goal. And there it is, half time. And it's a second minute goal from Berahino. We've not been great today. We have carved out a lot more chances than we did against Garnatova. And uh, yeah, we're still struggling a little bit for possession, but Gingomp. Not really able to do much with it. And as always, we're happy for that to happen as long as we are creating chances. And crucially, scoring them, which we haven't quite done yet. But hopefully in the second half, we can make this one short. Nice passing here from Gingon. We've looked dangerous. Dido, the substitute, steps back inside. We get a challenge in. And now we can run it. With Duarte, the left back. Goes on a bit of an adventure. Slips in Jan Caramo. He's got a lot of defenders still to beat here. Does well to turn back inside. And away from his man. He's fouled there, surely. Berahino. Referee. Still Jan Caramo. Oh, he's getting a pounding. No, what is that? Awful. And now, if Coco can get to this, they'll have a decent chance. It's a good ball in. Brion rises. Benazé. And that all came from an awful pass. I think it was from Doolin. Couldn't find Duarte. And we were very nearly punished for that. Free kick in a dangerous position here. 70 minutes in. We haven't been able to find that second goal. And things are looking a little bit suspect here as Brion glances a header in. Yeah, they're going to get a goal here if we don't. And we really need one. And that's not a good clearance. Or a good header. And Cham can't win it back. It's feeling a little bit like they're about to score here. If they can find the right ball... Oh, Berahino gets a challenge in. It's still not clear. Coco into the box. Across the box. Wow. Great header from Decore. And now Cafu into Caramo. Can we launch some sort of break? Not with passing like that, but it does fall to Cafu. It's given a lot of time. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, Dooling is in trouble there. When this gets pulled back. But we've got things to deal with now in the box. Camera does well. Steps in back again. No. Oh, Bernardoni saves us there. What a save that was. Incredible reaction save there by the young Frenchman. We are looking awful today. That is an just unbelievable save. And Doolin will get a yellow card for the foul in the build up to that. Oh, we are hanging on here. Dido over this one again. Big Zags attacks. Ruyuk edge of the box. Puts it in. Shot comes in. Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Bernardoni. Christ, I thought we'd ruined the whole thing there. Now in Cham. Passetto. Back out to Olivier and Cham. He's going to let this one fall. Hits it well wide. Jesus. 
This is honestly, I don't think I've ever played this badly. Just can't do anything. This was nice, but maybe in champ. Should have taken a touch or something. I don't know. At least got it on target. Oh, dearie me. Well, 1 0. Thanks to a gift of a goal for Sider Berahino in the second minute. But we've looked unconvincing again. Two very unconvincing performances today. But at the end of it, we have come out of it with uh, progression into the knockout stage of the Europa League and three points in the league. And we haven't had over 45% possession in either game. At least we created chances in this one. Didn't manage to finish many of them, but look at that. 5.5 for everyone in the midfield. Something's up. We've come out of this very luckily without really losing any ground in the league or the cup. But yeah, that's more by luck than judgment. I think Gingont will be unhappy with that. I think they probably deserve more. And uh, yeah, the wheat is starting to separate itself from the chaff here. Marseille, Monaco, PSG and Nice. Obviously, this other standout this season alongside Clermont. Starting to uh, just show that this is probably going to be the sort of top four, top five. Can we hang in there though? That's going to be the big question. We've scored the second most goals so far. Marseille looking good as well. We've got them to play. We're going to be playing them in the live stream. That's going to be an interesting one. They look to be on the up. But yeah, for now, we need to keep getting those three points. And we're not going to get them in that sort of fashion very often. We need to be a lot more clinical. We need to be a lot better at football. I think would be the first thing. So six games, four wins, two draws. It's, I mean, we haven't lost in six games. That's pretty impressive. Koyalapu with five goals. Looking great. Berahino's grabbed a couple. Both of them well taken. And Cham and Kafu with the assists. Yeah, it's all right. The average rating ranking's pretty low, though, if that's our best players. So our Sibiadi has been involved a lot. His passing's pretty low, though. 78% success rate. He does put a lot of crosses in, to be fair to him. And Cham's been playing well. His passing and dribbling looking good. Koyalapu, 45% success rate on his shooting is excellent. Karamo, 8%. Yeah, he's struggling a bit. He is struggling a bit. It's going to make uh, the decision as to whether to buy a new striker in January a little bit more difficult if Jan continues the way he is. I don't rate Mitrovic. I don't think he's going to be the one. Berahino's a good option, but he's not first choice. But Mounier, well, he is the battering ram player that maybe we've always wanted to replace Ferroborodori. So if we get to 79 with one of our players before January, then we may well have to go for him. Jan's been good in the air. Incham's been excellent, actually. He's having a great season. Breaking up play in the centre, his tackles is high, which is always good to see. So it's Koyalapu and Berahino, front two in the team of the month. We have been putting the goals away for fun, although not necessarily with the best performances. So next episode on Friday, the one before the live stream. Remember, on Sunday, live stream, 5pm. Got Lorient and PSG. It's going to be tricky. Those games, neither of them are going to be easy. Both of them away from home. We really could do with a dramatic improvement. Could, could we have one, please? Please? Let's hope so. So a reminder, we may not play the Lazio game. So this is going to be Friday's episode, Lorient PSG. We don't have to play the Lazio game, so we might not. So we could in the live stream play Marseille and then Toulouse, maybe. Or we could play Lazio. Let me know what you think for the live stream. Lazio and Marseille would be two good ties to play, both in Clermont against two top teams. Um, yeah, that'd be, that'd be good fun. I'm sure we can enjoy that and have a nice chat. So as I said... Pencil that in in the diary. No, not pencil. Actually, use a pen because it's definitely happening. 5pm Sunday. I'll see you there. I'll see you in a bit.